matchup from the American League Central. Indians on the road as Cleveland goes up against the Chicago White Sox. Right here on 2K Sports. Live on 2K Sports Friday night, Major League Baseball. Hey, great to have you with us. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. Everyone settling in now, U.S. Cellular Field, the site. We're going to see Mark Burley pitch. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Cleveland lineup. Oh, we got a lefty on the mound in this one. Some of the best stuff in the league among the elite left-handers in the game. I guess the, a lineup they can certainly put runs up on the board, but you have to believe if the lefty can get the job done, he should put some zeros up. Lineup for the Indians. We'll take a look, courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, Shinsu Chu's a guy, when you look at this lineup, is starting to produce some power for this team. He's a guy who has a great left-handed stroke. I tell you what, there's a different sound when that ball comes off his bat than most players can make. That shows he's got some pop. Let's see him produce today. Ready size more than play. He's the game's first batter, and we're ready to get things started. Number 24, Brady Sizemore. He makes contact, line drive. He's Over to Canerco. One away now. And Cabrera settles in. As a win last time out for the Indians. That made it two for three after trading games one and two of the three games set against the Tigers. When well, this team's been playing pretty well recently, six and four in their last ten games. Hot shot towards the hole. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads up play. When you know you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. It's going to be Laporta now. He's gone one for four in his career against Burley. Watches a curve in there for strike one. Well, this is an awfully tough pitch to hit right there. He put it exactly where he wanted to with that big break oh. on it. Awfully tough on the hitter. Swung on and ripped towards second. Throws to first side is retired. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. And Jake Westbrook is the pitcher. He'll get the start for Cleveland. Number eight. He gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve. A little strategy. A pretty even matchup right here. Quality right hander against a quality lineup. And oftentimes we say good pitching beats good hitting. We'll see if that prevails in this one. And it's Johnny Damon now. Now well, was the White Sox taking the win yesterday. One game after another, they really do not seem stoppable right now. They're just piling up the W's. When you want to talk about a team that is white hot, these guys are world beaters right now. I can't remember the last time they lost the ball game. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, it's so rare for a guy that has some power in his bat like Alexi Ramirez has, but he doesn't strike out a lot. That shows he has great plate discipline. Hit hard on the ground to short. The second for one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. He has to check out the Indians around the diamond on their defense. Uh, Steve, a factor for them. Well, as Drupal Cabrera has great versatility up the middle. It doesn't matter where you play him. He has great range and instincts and the ability to be able to throw from any position on the field. The pitch from Westbrook. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And the play made by Laporte. And two. Double play. Quick half inning there. It's over. Five pitches. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. A line drive towards short. And it's caught by Ramirez. Not a lot of room left on the schedule as we look at the Central Division race brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. Second place, the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. And Johnny Peralta up. Then this is his eighth season. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. And here's the pitch. Popped into foul territory down the left side. 
That'll oh. look at that one, but can't come up with it. Curveball, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Catches the strike zone. Johnny Peralta out of there on case. Well, two strikes. He goes right at him with a fastball. He challenges him, but he throws it at the knee, so even if it's put in play, it stays in the ballpark. Strike one! And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement, it can be very effective. Swing and a miss, and he's behind on the count 0 and 2. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Cutter strike three call. That'll do it in the inning. So Mike Burley gets him one, two, three. And he's off to a commanding start. And it'll be the White Sox. Leading it off, Carlos Quinch. He's the league leader in ribbies. Number 20. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Goodbye, home run. And they get the first run of the ball game. That solo shot, that is a big fly ball, 1-0. That's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. And the home run there, Steve. The pitching's going to have to be very careful now. Well, that's right. Damage control is critical. You don't want this inning to get out of control. Swung on, hit sharply to first. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. As he not in front as he swings and misses strike one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. He deals. Hit hard to second. Good offensive chance here. Now he tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the plate. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead in the count, and then you give up a base hit. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. Looking for the ground ball out, trying to get the hitter to roll over on it. Throws that sinker on the outside corner. There's one. And two. A double play. A beautiful looking double play right there. A pitcher's best friend. And that shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about defense. Joe Crady looks to knock in a run. Two outs and a runner on second. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect 0-1. Well, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out, so ball. he's got to be seeing the ball pretty well. And Joe Creedy watches that one go by. That'll even it up. But if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. A smash to first. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. He takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. He delivers. That one's drilled to short. 
And that's going to do it. Cabrera is there. They get that first run of the ball game here in the second. Something to work on. The White Sox on top. And Brantley's in the box. Designated hitter, number 23, Michael Brantley. Burley with a delivery. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0-1. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, one and one. Good pitch on the outside corner, one and two. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Lines this one to the left side out of play. And the cut fastball is in there. Strike three, one away. Okay, now we're going to get a chance to see the cutter here, Gary. What a great job of working the hitter down and in to ring him up. Looks like he was actually trying to get him to swing over it, but he gets the call in the out. And it's Crow at the plate. Hitting just 217 lifetime off the White Sox. Mike Burley gets that important strike, 0-2. That's a good hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Ball cutter thought he had him, but it's one and two. The one two from Burley. The swing and a fly ball to left center field. Damon able to pull that one in. Now State Fire brings you this near photo finish. The American League wild card race as we draw to a close in the season. It's the Angels in first. In second place, the Yankees. In the three hole, it's the Orioles. In fourth place, it's the Royals. It's the Blue Jays in fifth. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. Oh, I've got such a great race right now. Ground ball, Creedy. He snares it. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And a good half inning there, gone in short. And it's Johnny Damon now. Left fielder, number 18. Johnny First pitch Damon. on the way to Damon. Oh. Damon will file that one away. Here's the pitch. Strike, Strike two. two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching work. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers. Ball belted deep left center field. Way back, way back. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Faces empty with one away. Here's the pitch. Strikes him out with a fastball for a strike. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball. Unbelievable action on that pitch. Number 20. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. He homered earlier in the ball game. First pitch to Quinton. There's a swing and a liner. Oh, it's foul. Westbrook delivering the strike 0 and 2, maybe a K. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. You try to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. Taking a look there, Manny Acton. You can imagine right now the inner workings here in the club trying to get this thing tied up. And Grady Sizemore up. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Beckham over to Canerco. That's one away. 
shortstop. He's retired 10 in a row. The hitters are completely overmatched right now. He's got it all going on. And Cabrera settles in. His lifetime average 288 against the White Sox. And they get to him in time to tag him up. It's going to be Laporta now. I seen a bit overmatched last game out. He's striking out three times in that one, so he's hoping to make a little more contact here. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. And the side's retired. Damon catches it as he heads in. And Beckham's in the box. He's ready to start the home half here in the fourth inning. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Hard grounded a short, fielded by Cabrera. And Beckham set down. And Alex Rios up. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Cut fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. And the 0 1 by Westbrook. Oh. And Rios looks at that one for a ball. That'll even the count. His lifetime batting average not good. 226 against the Indians. Swing and a miss in the slider. 1 and 2. Head up the middle. And it gets through 2 for 2. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Here are the bats making the noise this past month. The State Farm leaderboard batting average. We look at these hitters. They're really the guys with the most versatility. The ability to drive the ball to left field, to right field, and hit the fastball, the curveball, the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Oh, one count as that started off with a strike. And that's a strike. A.J. Krasinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Well, he got a little over anxious on that last sinker and swings and misses. And A.J. Krasinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. But good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? That's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. First pitch to Creedy. Line shot into center field. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. That's going to bring up Jim Tomey. Well, just another great game by this guy. I mean, he comes into this game on a streak. Now two hits already in this one. For one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And that's going to do it. Sizemore is there. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. And leading it off, Shinsu Chu. Lined out in his last at bat. Shinsu Chu. Burley with a delivery. A line drive towards the hole. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Stepping up to the plate. The four no hit innings, and this team finally breaks through against this guy, getting their first hit of the ball game right there. Here's the delivery. The 0 0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. For his career, 227 off the White Sox. And that swung on and hit Rios. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. And it'll be Val Buena standing in the hit. Well, we saw his last game. You got a chance to see that he swung that well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. And the first pitch. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Good cutter. Swung out and missed for the first out. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. Check swing here. Did he go around? They say no. They're going to look down to third to see if he did. No, he did not. And the check swing worked. He'll continue his at-bat. Here's the 1-0 from Burley. 
Gets that call at the knees, evens the count at one apiece. Well, he just fooled the hitter right here. He was thinking hard. He got soft, and with great break on that curveball, he couldn't touch it. And it remains one and two. One two pitch coming. Fastball got him looking too bad. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead attack. And it's Crow at the plate. One hit, six at bats against Brill. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly swung on. That is hit. Whoa! Get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. And Chu comes home. Cleveland continuing to deliver big offense. Number 65. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. That pays off. 0 and 1. Burley kicks and delivers. Good change up. It's quickly 0 and 2. Well, this may be a setup pitch right here. Soft up and in. Now let's see if they go hard away. Swing and that's going to be hit behind the plate. Pitch on the way. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses. One and two. Outside, two and two now. The 2 2 pitch. Struck him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. One for two in the ballgame. Number 18. First pitch on the way to Damon. He swings and drives this one. That's one away. Number one, the White Sox. Blue Jays in second. Third, the Yankees. Rangers four. And we've got the Twins who are number five. With this sort of power production, it's tough to pitch around any one hitter in the lineup because it does speak to the power depth that they have throughout the course of the lineup. Westbrook delivering the strike 0 and 2, maybe a K. Well, you gotta like that pitch, that cut fastball up and away from the hitter. Awfully tough to hit it with that kind of movement. And so Ramirez retired. The shortstop makes a nice play right here, Gary. Good feet at that position. Gets the easy out of first. And here's Paul Canerco. One of the best batting averages in the league. Base is empty with two out. And he starts Canerco out. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Off the wall and a hop. He'll hold there at second base, crediting with a double. But Gary, he, he can really swim with that quality approach to the plate day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Well, this pitcher was cruising along in this inning. Not a lot of difficulty so far. Loses his concentration for just one second, and now a runner in scoring position. He's got to work. First pitch to Quinton. There's a swing and a smash. This one to Sizemore. That one's grabbed. Side retired. They pick up no runs on one hit. Pretty Sizemore. Blake. I got a chance to drive one out of the ballpark. Nobody on base. And I think with that, they got to think about getting somebody on in front of them because it looks like the power's coming. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that burly pitch. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. Here's the 1-1. Hit up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. Over to Canerco. One away. And Cabrera settles in. He bounced out his last time. First pitch on the way. And Burley gets it by. Called strike and the count will go to 0-1. The pitch. And that's a strike as Drubal Cabrera is going to have to take a defensive stance here. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement. 
down and into the hitter. You're way ahead of the game. Now line drive. And Creedy gloves out. It's going to be Laporta now. Two outs and nobody on. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left, and that gets the tying now run on board. That will bring Shin Su right Chu to the plate. Well, with that big two-out hit right two. there in this inning, you know the managers in there telling him, "Let's not let him breathe. Let's not let him get that third out. Let's score before this inning's over." Dave Bush going to the mound. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. Well, if it were me. I'd leave the starter in the game. I think it's, you're taking them out too early right now. I'd go to the bullpen a little bit later. He's hacking at the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. Oh, man, there's the big bender. Struck him outside, retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. The White Sox still ahead. And Beckham's in the box. I mean, he didn't get a chance to see his last ball game. He came up with a shot, took advantage of a pitcher's mistake. Swing and a rocket towards short. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. Pulls into second with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Well, these kind of hits right here, a double with no outs to start an inning, really puts the pitcher at a disadvantage and puts a lot of added pressure on that pitcher. Now a single can bring home a run. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Oh, it looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. Swing, the ball hit high in the air, deep to left field. Gone, a two-run homer. A little distance now, increasing their lead, one to three. Now White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 12, A.J. Brzezinski. First pitch to him. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Steve, a big fly like that at this point in the ball game. You, you start thinking, you know something? We're going to win this ball game. Well, backbreaker, boy, that kind of power shows the other team that, you know what, you always have a chance to catch up or extend your lead. The pitch from Westbrook. The grounder to Peralta. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. That's going to bring Joe Creedy up. Stay proud with the look of the staffs who are piling up K's over the last 10. Number one, the Yankees. Second, the Tigers. In the third spot, the Indians. Mariners fourth. And it's the Red Sox number five. You see the, the prodigious strike. Now swing and a shot towards second. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And it'll be Jensen Lewis doing the pitching. He'll be the reliever for the Indians. But Gary, I tell you, I probably would have let this starter go a little bit longer. I mean, better safe than sorry, but why burn? There's a ball hit well deep in the center field. Way back there, still going. Home run, a three-run shot. Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead can make it much more difficult to catch him late. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. Oh, boy, this is uh, getting a little ridiculous here. It looks like batting practice. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Well, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Oh. And a 
it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. There's a swing and a line drive. Oh, wow. Another hit. They just won't quit. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Number 14. Second in doubles. Third in batting average. He's also ranked third in hits in the league right now. A guy that makes so much contact. That a smash towards the hole. In time for the up. And Damon comes in. Quality solid at bat right there. This is what you want to do. With a runner on, find a way to get him in, even if you hit into an out. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. Well, we've seen this club's offense, and I think we're going to see some more. They're running away with it, Steve. Now, Gary, they swing. Sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. It's off the wall and a hop. There's the throw. And Ramirez is home. Now batting. As much as you want to blame the pitching, we're now talking about more than one pitcher giving up all of these hits. You right now, you have to credit the offense. These guys are really swinging the bat. Here's the first pitch. Well hit towards the middle. Throws in time to first. What a play. He makes a terrific play and a fine throw. Well, this should have been a base hit. The hitter thought the ball was going through, but a tremendous effort keeping it in the infield and getting the out. Runner standing at third. Here's Alex Rios. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored. Top five. The pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Shot back to first. And that one to fall in, and the run will score. Now batting for the oh, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. Runner on first, two away. Now the first pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. This one to Sizemore. And he's there to retire the side. So they're finally set down, but not before they have a big inning punctuated by two big home runs. And Johnny Peralta in. One for two in the ballgame. Here's the pitch to Peralta. And Bush's pitch looked at for a strike 0 and 1. Look, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes, get outs right now. Strike and two. it's 0 2. Johnny Peralta, he'll be swinging anything close. Let's see if they go right at him or if they're going to waste a pitch. They're way ahead right now. Curveball got him one away. Well, that curveball is an unhittable pitch. It's either a take pitch or if you swing at it, you swing and miss. Two straight strikeouts on the big hook. And here's the first one. And he takes one in there on one. Like Gary went out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. Into right field for a single. He's going to try to stretch it. And the throw. He's still going. Safe at third. Or when he shoots this one toward the wall, you know he's thinking three all the way. And with his speed, he makes it there easily. Now, with only one out, the manager has a big decision how they're going to pitch to this next guy. Takes a call at strike one. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. 0-1 is a fastball inside. That'll even the count at one. Comes set, now the 1-1. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called upon to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. And they score him. And it's Crow at the plate. Now they still need a lot of off. That one's drilled to short. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. 
So Dave Bush out of the inning. And it's Joe Creedy now. First pitch to Creedy. Swung on. Hit down the line and left. This one into the corner. Gone. Goodbye home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Gary, you can really see here on the replay that pitch comes inside. He pulls in his swing, gets his hands inside the ball, and just powers it over the fence. And he's enjoying this trip around the base pass. He knew he got that on contact. I think I see him smiling. Swing and a miss. Tommy, strike one. You have to have some kind of bat speed to catch up to that kind of a fastball up and in right there. Just couldn't do it. And that's a strike. Tommy is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Oh, oh tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. The one two pitch that swung on and a liner here foul ball no home run that time. The pitch a swing the ball hit high deep into right field. Goodbye home run. That's Johnny Damon at the plate. No outs and the base is empty. Fielder number 18. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a swing high and deep into center field. Way, way back there. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. A swing and a miss. Ramirez, strike one. His lifetime average, 261 off the Indians. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. And Sizemore makes the play. That's one away. And here's Paul Canerco. Drove in a run earlier in the game. And he starts Canerco out. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0-1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by. Him. Probably should not have swung at that one. It's a strike even though the ball was in the dirt. is inside. That got him pretty good. Well, that fastball had teeth on it. It just took a bite out of that guy. Number 20. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. He homered back in inning number two. First pitch to Quinton. Couldn't get around in time. 0-1. There's a swing and a line drive. And it gets down. That's hit number three on the ball game and five at bat. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. And Beckham's in the box. Two hits, five at bats. Like time off correct. Here's the delivery. Sliders in there. No balls and a strike. I don't think you like that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And that gets down. And Conerco to cross the plate. Now, well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. And he starts Rio, so swing and a miss, strike one. Well, if he has the ability to spot that pitch down and in, that slider, he should come right back to it because it is an unhittable pitch, as you saw right there. Slider swung out and missed, two down. This pitch has a little life to it at 84, and the gun is a pretty good move. Chance to drive it around A.J. Krasinski. He flew out his last time up. some reason he tried to hit that pitch in the dirt it's a strike oh one offering from Perez and that one to fall in and the run will score I tried to go down with that 0 one pitch but it gets blasted right back to the base hit but the way he went after that in the box Steven looked like he might have been guessing down there well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him to count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. First pitch to Creedy. 
Swing and a drive. Deep left center. And he's there to retire the side. But not before they strike for five runs on the strength of three long balls. White Sox continue to run. It's going to be Rice now. Catcher number 65, Bob Rice. And the first pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Beckham. Over to Canerco. One away. And we're going to see Sizemore here. And he watches the low pitch from Bush. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Plays off again, 2-0. Oh. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. Now it's two away. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings of the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. That ball swung on, hit Rios to field it. And it falls in there for a base hit. That'll bring Matt Laporta to the plate. Well, it's not going to take a genius to figure out that the hot zone for most major league hitters is a fastball right down the middle of the plate. That's exactly what the pitcher threw him, and that's why he got hit hard. And he watches the low pitch from Bush. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdowns there. You only need four outs left to win this ball game. Check swing held back, but it's a strike anyway. One and two. On the way. Still one and two. The one two on its way. This one's grounded to second. Back up. Throw in time. Forces him at second for the third out. No runs. One. Look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. Not, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So interesting move. Line drive. He's Retiring Tommy. Take a look at the teams who are leading the way in the home run department, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox number one. Blue Jays in second. In third, the Rangers. Red Sox fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. A lot of power in this lineup, and that doesn't just mean they have a lot of big, strong guys. It means they have the right approach at the plate. They're getting a lot of hitters counts, 2-0, 3-1 counts, and they're capitalizing, looking for a pitch, and driving. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number 10. And the shot here for Alexi Ramirez, two down. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Cut on and missed 0 and 1. Here he has an outstanding slider. I mean, that's really the pitch to look for. Such great movement on that pitch. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Now, Gary, when you talk about his slider, it's not only the movement, but the fact that he can throw it in the exact You're same out. spot where he throws his fastball on the previous pitch. He works the corner and throws the slider in the same spot, and it goes right off the plate. No runs, no hits, nobody across. You get a look here at the manager, Manny Acton. Kind of feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. The pitch from Bush. Line towards second. Beckham able to pull that one. I if uh, you know, win it big right now. You just want to go out there and make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. And Bush's pitch looked at for a strike 0 and 1. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Swings, hits this one in the air down the right field line. Retiring for Alta. That's two gone. Trinidad up now. Base is empty and two down. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. 
Bush delivers the 1 0 pitch. Hit on the ground. This could be the end of this ballgame. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the show. Well, we'd like to grant the Pepsi Clutch Performance Award now. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. Well, you know, Gary, there's no way you can win baseball games without great starting pitch. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right.